from very early on, it, it was baffling to think about how this one person could kill nine Americans who were mostly armed. I think that from the very beginning kind of left us wondering if there were more, if there was more to it. In a post-incident briefing, military investigators told the victims' families that Colonel Gould was able to kill or critically wound eight Americans in four to seven seconds. The ninth victim was killed in a shootout with Gould in an adjacent hallway. We know he got at least seven shots off in four seconds, which is very easy to do. Okay, so seven shots in four seconds, and he disabled the seven Americans. That is correct. On the day of the attack, there were also 14 Afghans in the room with Ghoul. According to Stetton, eight of them were armed. None of them were seriously injured. Many of us that were there, myself included, that believe that some, if not all, the Afghans in that room were uh, holding our people in a position where they could not draw their weapons. Either had guns to their head, the two weapons that were missing, they were taken, but they were in some way held in a position where they could not defend themselves. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the event, none of the 14 Afghans were detained for questioning and were allowed to resume their activities at the base the next day. Additionally, two of the firearms from the deceased airmen were never recovered. U.S. Air Force investigators weren't permitted to access the crime scene until four days later. By that time, the Afghan Ministry of Defense had already scrubbed bloodstains and halted the collection of evidence.